是千鸟，今天要为大家带来的是《地平线：期待黎明》。我还是跟其他人也交谈交谈。嗯，先来跟提尔莎说说话。Now that the blessing has been made, you and I finally have a moment to speak. I hope the ceremony wasn't too unpleasant for you, given your circumstances. 我我觉得很美啊。I can't say it was comfortable, but I could see the beauty of the ritual, even so. It takes a generous heart, Aloy, to commend a ritual that venerates all that you were denied. All I'm saying is that it didn't bother me. I have bigger things to worry about than hearing the Nora mumble about their mothers. I see. I imagine you must have questions for me then. It surprises me the tribe lets outcasts run in the proving. It's not like the Nora to be so hospitable. It has always been law that any child outcast has this right as a means to rejoin the tribe. So far as I know, however, you are the first ever to exercise this right. I'm not surprised. I doubt many outcast children survive long enough in the wilds to come of age. I think rather it is because child outcasts are so rare. In all my years, I've only known of one other child who was cast out, a boy of thirteen, who killed his mother. But at the proving five years later, he did not appear. No, I'd be surprised if he survived very long on his own. But at least he had a chance. Other tribes would have simply executed him. It may be hard for you to accept, Aloy, but the practice of shunning is, relatively speaking, humane. Oh, is it? <laughs> Try it out for eighteen years, Tirsa, and then let me know what you think. 我觉得驱逐没有比较好。Why was I made an outcast at birth, Tirsa? What crime could I have committed even before I was born? Aloy, this is not a question I can answer. Why not? It's simple enough. And what about my mother? Is she here tonight, watching me, or is she dead? Is she here, or nowhere? I am sure your mother is here with us, if only in spirit. <laughs> That's not really an answer, is it? Just so you know, Tirsa, the reason I'm here is to get answers, real ones. And when I win the proving, I will demand them. I know, Aloy. I would expect nothing less. How about that? Hoi Tawa. What about Rost? Why was he made an outcast? So he never told you? He said he swore an oath never to speak of it. Yes, as did I, and the other matriarchs. I'm sorry, Aloy, but Rost's past is another secret I must keep from you. What else is new? Why is there no secret? Don't tell me. Rost told me that matriarchs don't just lead the tribe. What else do you do? We teach, offer counsel, give blessings. When necessary, we judge. Our only concern is the welfare of the tribe. Among our number this year, we count three high matriarchs and some thirty lesser matriarchs. What's the difference? Matriarchs are grandmothers with two generations of living progeny, but a high matriarch is a great grandmother with three or more generations to her name. Thus, do we speak for generations, lending our opinions weight. The high matriarchs, most of all. So, the more children you have, the more authority you get. I guess that's one way to decide who leads a tribe. Why would there be any other? Haha, 看起来我不太能够理解他们的他们的做法 Why does Lanzra hate me so much? She is a woman of extreme opinions. More than that, I cannot say. It's not my fault that I was born, or that the matriarchs decided to cast me out. I side with you in this matter, but there are differences of opinion, and any vote of the high matriarchs requires a majority. 
，所以我就这样被赶出去，我一阵摔啊。I should be going. I'm sorry if I've been too harsh. It's just I've wanted answers for so long. I know, child. You're not the only one who's waited years for this day. I will be praying for your success. Perhaps the Karja have come to make amends. I won't deny them a chance. You can go, ma. That blessing wasn't bad, nice and short, anyway. But I know a half dozen Asaram tinkers who could put on a better fireworks show. Oops. I hope I'm not throwing a wet blanket on your sacred ritual. It was nice, really. Oh, 能讲都讲过了。Yeah, well, good luck in that proving thing. Maybe I'll see you in Meridian someday. Who knows? 或许我如果有机会的话，我去看看。Your blessing was most illuminating. I've never seen its like. A rare gift, indeed. But you don't believe in All Mother, do you? Usually, the the distance between our tribes shrouds Nora ways from Karja eyes. But here among you, I see a beauty that shines true. Perhaps Naman is right after all, that the sun's light brightens all lands and all peoples. Who's Naman? One of my brethren, who believes the sky is wide enough for the faiths of all tribes. 我觉得这样的想法还蛮不错的。Who is the Sun King you speak for? His luminance Avad is the fourteenth king of the Radiant Line. His light envelops the sky and everything beneath it. He is the chosen of the Sun. By his divine rule, we are given sight and purpose. You speak highly of him. Do you know him well? By his nature, he is unknowable and infallible. We are his instruments, not his companions. I have been in his presence, but we draw down our hoods so as not to behold his light directly. He's the sun. He has total power and no friends. That couldn't go wrong. I think I'm always talking to them. If your sun kings are so infallible, how do you explain the crimes of the last king? Ah, well, the sun's glory. Is a great and brazen crown for a vessel as small as a man. If the vessel is flawed, indeed in the burial caves, one can see the skulls of the past kings are cracked, trialed, and fired in the sun's kiln. That can be too much for any man to bear, even a ruler of men. So the sun can make bad choices like anyone else. Oh no no no! You don't even know what to say. Has there ever been a sun queen? Uh, many wives and consorts, of course. Or, oh, you mean for the sun to choose a queen? <laughs> This has not happened. Why not? The sun is masculine, of course, and and so would choose its heirs thus. Um, it's a light in the sky. I've never seen anything dangling from it. I don't know if you've noticed, but women run things around here. Well. Avad took a woman as captain of his vanguard, the first to hold such an honor. You mean Aaron's sister, Ursa? From what he told me, she sounds formidable. Oh, formidable indeed! A woman and an outsider as well. She might make a fine sun queen, given a chance. A sun queen? <laughs> oh no 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 no! Hehehe, 看起来他是蛮难接受的 Who are you, sun priest? I am the Reverend to read. The glory of the Karja is the sun's glory, reflected. We sun priests are but glimmers of its great light. You just said a lot, but you didn't tell me anything. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. My duty is to carry out the will of the sun by serving its emissary among us, the Sun King. I comfort those who walk by the light of day, and I travel to those in far reaches, whom. The light barely touches, bearing warmth. So you live in Meridian? I do. Where better to mark the sun's divine passage than where the sandstone glows in the light of its passing? I was raised in the mesa's great shade, its wild bird markets and metal sellers, spices and colored silks. 
Sounds impressive. Oh, you should behold it. And you can if you make the journey. At His Luminance's order, we have flung its gates open to all. Any Nora who leaves the Sacred Land becomes an exile. But hey, who knows where I'll end up. Did you come all this way just to deliver your Sun King's speech? It is my duty, and also my honor, to carry the light of atonement to those we overshadowed and wronged. I swallowed my fear, but it re-emerged. I am glad Erend Van Guardsman made this journey. He is my shield, a good man. Why were the Karja at war with the Nora? Under the 13th Sun King, the Karja had no peace with any tribe. His luminance has sent those days to dusk. We must renew the light that binds us, though few volunteered to come here. The Nora scare you. Say that to make yeah. people feel unwelcome. It's said one soldier died for every Nora taken alive. But <laughs> I see you can be as calm as you are fierce. This has been illuminating, but I should get going. You have already been blessed, but may the dawn find you, the day warm you, and the dusk have light to guide your path. Hello, Owen. You know my name? Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned, and I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape then. I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Eren needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always
最新的影片资讯，谢谢大家的收看，拜拜。